Let us welcome the next speaker. The third speaker is Ms. Arisa Hayakawa from Tsuda College. She will deliver her speech under the title of Before Cross-Cultural Exchange. Ms. Hayakawa, please come up to the stage and shout for a new world.
Then, how to go about understanding your own culture? I don't think we should read complex books about culture and drill its knowledge into us. I strongly believe that to have actual experience is the best way of understanding our own culture. <coughs> Today, I suggest one thing. Cherish your own country's traditional annual events by holding these events and participating in them and be able to explain them in your own words. Traditional annual events have deep connection with humans' way of thinking. Tracing the origin of the events and enjoying the real meaning of them help us understand the way of thinking. If you understand not only what it is, but also how and why it appeared, you will be able to explain it. 2020. As you know, this year is a special year for Japan. Yes, the Tokyo Olympic Games will be held. I believe this is a good chance to do cross-culture exchange. Actually, according to Association for World Economic Studies, the Olympic Games are originally held not only for sports festivals, but also for expression of culture. I would like you to understand your own culture and being able to explain it to foreign people and then communicate with them positively. The more we understand our own culture, the more foreign people understand it. Moreover, you can accept fully culture and realize its real good points and its characteristics through comparing your own culture with foreign ones. Now, we should try to do cross-culture exchange. In order to do it, first of all, we have to understand our own culture. I call for my ideal new word. We are all people can tell their own culture with confidence and understand with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to reconsider what you should do before cross-culture exchange. Now is the time to start learning your own culture by gaining actual experience. Thank you. Like to move on to the question and answer session. Mr. Kusama, please. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Hayakawa. Thank you. So, so uh, you suggested us that uh, we uh, enjoy traditional events. Yeah, traditional events. Mm -hmm. So, what events are you talking about, for example? Um, traditional and um, um, like. New Year's Day or Zetsubun um, or a summer festival or some kind of thing. Well, those are the all those are the events we uh, uh, always enjoy ourselves. Yeah. So without being told, you enjoy this and that. So you have any other special events you recommend um, so that we can better know our traditions, our own country. Too many to think of? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, how do you encourage those who are who would say, "Oh, well, I'm not interested in Japanese uh, traditional events, uh, kabuki and more than that." No. So how do you encourage those people? Um, I think um, festivals are very enjoyable and very easy to participate in. Mm -hmm. So first of all, these kind of very easy to participate things I, I recommend and if they interested in this kind of kabuki or some kind of things I recommend them to go to see yeah that, that's that. well how do you trigger how do you encourage I'm my question how do you encourage those people um, uh, yeah who'd say oh no no <coughs> 
I don't like them. So any, any specific ways and means so that they are willing to participate in those events? Um, what if uh, your boyfriend says, oh, let's go to the festival, which you are not interested? What do you think? Um, I think that um, every kind of traditional event is a very uh, wonderful uh, uh, Wonderful? Uh, Japanese culture is very wonderful to know, uh, so we should know about it. So um, I, I st strongly recommend them to that the Japanese culture is very wonderful. Yeah, okay, that means you keep on stressing. That's very interesting. You should go. You should go. You should go. I keep on saying that. That that's all. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, last question. Uh, I think the Japanese cultures are changing every day. So just by learning uh, traditional events, people do not know if the, uh, a certain uh, traditional event really reflect the uh, most updated uh, Japanese culture. So what do you think? So we should, still we should learn, you are saying that we, are, we should learn uh, traditional culture or events first. Yeah. Cultures are different, uh, I mean, yeah. from the past, all right? Yeah, 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 the culture is different. I, I'm sure that culture is different. But I think um, the, rich, um, the traditional annual events is a ver express the very origin of Japanese people. So I think learning these things leads to learning a modern kind of culture. So, so first of all, we have to understand the origin of the culture. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kuksama and Ms. Hekawa. I have been feeling that I need to know more about Japanese culture as well. Actually, recently, I started learning Japanese food, such as Saba no Misoni. <laughs> so next time I have an opportunity to have cross-cultural exchange, I hope I will be able to explain it proudly. Thank you very much for an important show.